Hi everyone, it's Megan here from Pop Dust and I am very excited because we have the Mean Girls on Broadway cast, or some members of the Mean Girls on Broadway cast. We have <laughs> Riza Tagahashi and Cheech Manahar here, who plays Kevin G. Yeah. And Sophie Kawachi. <laughs> yeah, Reza, who plays Sophie Kawachi, <laughs> who um, I didn't know this until just like a, two, a few seconds ago, but actually dates Kevin G. So yeah, we that are a couple on on stage. On stage. On stage. Aren't they cute? <laughs> <That's been confused. laughs> yeah. So did you guys um, was that like written into the script, or is that something that you built over time into your characters? It kind of built up. Yeah, well, there was, um, in D.C., we had our out-of-town production in D.C., and we had a lot of previews there, and during previews, the show can change a ton. So we would have uh -huh. rehearsals during the day, and then we would have the show at night. Mm -hmm. And uh, they went through a lot of, like, different iterations with what should end up, what Kevin G. should end up as. Like, yeah. there was a time where they thought, you know, maybe Kevin G. ends up with Gretchen. There was a time where they thought mm -hmm. maybe Kevin G. ends up with Janice, like he does in the movie. Um, but during rehearsals, we had kind of come to this joke that like Sophie Kawachi and Kevin G should end up together because uh -huh. they're they're like nerdy and they yeah. get each other. And we had come up with this joke that they were like really this awesome stable relationship. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And then when we moved to Broadway, like when we were in rehearsals, we kept getting paired next to each other yeah. during blocking. Yeah, yeah. For all of the scenes, like all of the scenes, everything. Halloween, <laughs> uh, spring fling, and classroom scenes, and we just kind of decided to play more. To, to go with it, to yeah. run with it, and so I think our director took notice, Tina, uh -huh. Tina Fey, our book writer, took notice, and she, uh, she was like, yeah, let's make it a thing. Yeah. And so we, we end the show together at Spring Fling. Yeah. It's lovely. It's a really yeah. nice thing we've That's got going. Cool. I love that. I love how something can build like so organically. It was yeah. meant to be and fuel the story yeah. and help you guys kind of fuel your own character background. Totally. Yeah. It was great. like, this is like a real relationship. You know? yeah. like, I mean, loved on stage too, which is like amazing. Yeah. And our relationship is so strong that, you know, I don't know. It's, it's so funny. It's we'll be on stage and like we'll normal like normal fights that high schoolers should get into because like they don't know how to communicate at that level. Yeah, fight, you know, like normal fights that we should be getting into. Like Sophie and Kevin just communicate so maturely. They're wow. like so on board with each other. They like understand each other and support each other. It's couple like goals. Super couple goals. actual couple Smiles. goals. Yeah. Goals. It's really lovely. That's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So do, do you, you guys hang out a lot when you're not working? I mean, we go out sometimes yeah. so when we're not too tired. And I mean, I didn't get to go last night, but right, right. Patrick. But, yeah. Yeah. There are well, our cast hangs out a lot together. Yeah. We're like we are a really sociable cast, mm -hmm. um, and we're lucky enough that we all get along very well. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's nice. Every once in a while, we'll all go out. We'll do something together. We'll get a quick yeah. drink together. We'll our director Casey he threw a boat party for us, so we all got to like yeah. hang out on a boat together and unwind after like a long week. It was nice. So. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and so this is your both of your Broadway debuts. Yes. Very cool. So, Riza, how did you uh, fall into the Mean Girls Club? <laughs> um, well, it's been a long journey. <laughs> to start off, I'm, I'm not from the U.S., I'm from Japan, uh -huh. and ever since I was little, I knew I wanted to do musicals, I wanted to pursue this career, and wanted to be on Broadway, and I was like, yeah, like, I love doing musicals, and at some point, maybe like middle school, I realized, oh, I need to be able to speak English to be on Broadway, yeah. wow. and I was like, oh, I should leave Japan, because <laughs> I should learn the language, <laughs> so I left when I was 16, and just kind of by myself. Wait, so how did that, how does that work? <laughs> how does that Explain work? to me, like, what did you do? Oh, how does that work? That's a good question. That is a uh, great question. I would friend. also like to know the answer to this. Yeah, well, I graduated from middle school, and I just found this public high, uh, arts, high school, 
performing arts high school in Canada uh -huh. that would take foreign students, just not exchange program, just kind of like, oh, well, we welcome anyone. Wow. So they took me and I was living with a host family and that's where I kind of forced myself to learn the language and also learn to dance more. Mm -hmm. um, and by the time I graduated high school is when I had enough English in my hand to go pursue more musical theater in America. Uh -huh. And then I went to college for it and for musical theater. Uh -huh. And by the time I graduated, my English was good enough to pursue, to pursue yeah, Broadway <laughs> and Mean Girls. <laughs> I mean, I would have never known that English is your second language. Well, you're, thank you. Yeah, you're totally passing <laughs> as an American. My cast is starting <laughs> to pick on a little bit of grammar mistakes now and then. Yeah. <laughs> it's more like we have like idioms. Like we, I was explaining yeah. to Reza the phrase cut a rug the other day. Oh. Oh. Like we were, at how, we were at the Halloween party in our show and I was like, I saw you cutting a rug out there. I was like talking to somebody like, so you cut and yeah. she was like, like, what? what? Huh? <laughs> I wasn't, what, what rug? What rug? It's <laughs> not so every once These in a while. These are hardwood floors. <laughs> I know. Yeah, she was like, is... we're on Marley right yes, now. We like, don't have rugs. <laughs> um, but every once in a while, there'll be a, a, like a cute little thing like that, that we have to explain. But like, Reza has worked her butt <laughs> off. It, it's truly like hearing her story is absolutely mind blowing oh, to me. Aww. <laughs> yeah, so that's how I got here, kind of. Yeah. I know. Short term. Very cool. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's Thank you. not a small feat. No. no. I got a lot of help from other people to, you know. Aw, yeah. yeah, of course. Um, and well, Cheech, I know your story, but um, because of videos yeah. and such that I've watched on you, but if you wouldn't mind just kind of recapping how you sure. got involved in Mean Girls and what that process was like and sure. auditioning. Um, well, when, so Mean Girls did this thing called a lab, um, which is when you put up a musical in a rehearsal space and then like invite all the money people to it. And it's mm -hmm. minimal sets, minimal props, just to see if it can be a thing. They have mm -hmm. um, and when the lab was happening, I was still in school. I was a senior at Syracuse University. And so, uh, <laughs> and so I, when I graduated school, I was living in New York because Syracuse moves all of its students to New York for their last semester. Mm -hmm. um, and I found that they were recasting Kevin G. And I was like, all right, I am not union. I have a little to no experience, but it, the audition call said for someone that was funny and could rap and was Indian or Pakistani. And I was like, I am all of those things. And so for my audition, I rewrote the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song, but I made it Indian. Uh -huh. and so I like walked into that with my little parody rap. Wow. Um, open call, I like signed up at the list at like 7 a.m. to like get seen. And then from there, they asked me to go to the, um, the dance call to see if I could dance. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it was like nine callbacks in three and a half weeks. I think what happened is because I was in, I was fresh out of school and they knew that. I think there was a lot yeah. of like, is he going to be able to prove to us that he is able to handle this amount of pressure? And if we give yeah. him notes and corrections, like, is he going to come back and is he going to get better? And is he going to be at that level of professionalism that we need? So it was a... It was a uh, nerve-wracking three and a half weeks, but I found out that I got Mean Girls for the DC and Broadway productions about a month out of school. Wow. Yeah. Star. That's, that's crazy. This is stardom. Yeah. It's been, it's been a whirlwind of a year. I like to joke that Mean Girls is my fifth year of college. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, yeah kind of. because it's, you know, high school. You kind of went back, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Graduated college and you have to start over. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. It's awesome. So... You were rapping before Mean Girls? Um, I grew up, well, I, was, I wasn't actually born in the United States either. Mm -hmm. I was born in Australia. And then oh. I moved to uh, Pittsburgh at around the age of six. Mm -hmm. And we moved right around the time that there was like this huge underground rap boom happening in Pittsburgh. Like Wiz Khalifa was oh. becoming a thing. Mac Miller was becoming a thing. Like huh. um, my brother actually like graduated from school with Wiz Khalifa. It was like very funny, but like, uh, so I was invested in this like hip hop and rap culture. So I uh -huh. grew up listening to a lot of '90s R&B, early thousands rap, like a lot of that music. 
Um, and so it's always been my favorite thing to listen to, and I just never thought that anyone would let me do it on stage. <laughs> Publicly. Ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, I mean, I don't necessarily look like a person who would, who would enjoy rap slash rap, you know what I mean? But, um, well, there's in, definitely like a movement in the American theater that's kind yeah. of saying like, wait, this is, you know, this is America. Rap music is a huge part and yeah. it's starting mm -hmm. to be utilized in, um, you know, live performance and theater. Absolutely. Um, and so this role, your role is, you know, pretty iconic in that way. It's really exciting. Know? It's also exciting that uh, it's the first non-accented Indian character on Broadway, which is like huh, really wait, exciting. Really? Yeah. Which is like really exciting for yeah. me to play, for me to be able to go like, wow, like this is a fully fledged Indian principal character that like doesn't have an accent. Yeah. And like we're just us. We're just it's just us. Yeah. Um, which is amazing. Yeah. Which is it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's nice that we're able to like take this step forward with this show. And our show is uh -huh. incredibly diverse. Yes. Yeah. I'm talking like it. shape, size, mm -hmm. color, background. Mm -hmm. It it looks like a real American high school. That's but we're not great. stereotyped yeah. into any of yeah. like I'm not playing this Asian girl. I'm yeah. just playing me, but I'm just in the high school. Yeah. yeah. Which is so great and like so liberating. Yeah. To just create the character of my own in my own way. Yeah. That's wonderful. I mean, I I have to go see it now. I'm yeah, so you excited. Do. <laughs> you do. Um, it's it's definitely kind of making a name for itself in in Broadway history, and that's I'm really happy you guys get to be a part of it. Yeah, we're yeah, happy. We're happy too. <laughs> yeah, we're very very happy. <laughs> let everyone at home watching know how they can follow you on Instagram, uh, oh, Facebook, sure. Twitter. If you have any uh, shows coming up, obviously you should go see Mean Girls on yeah. Broadway. Um, Come see but us. if you have any personal plugs. You can follow me at, at Riza Takahashi on Instagram. And I think I have Twitter too. I'm not very active on Twitter. <laughs> but I'm very active on Instagram. We aren't either. <gasps> Oh, Instagram, no, no, yeah, no. no. Pop this, everything. We got it. <laughs> yeah. Apparently they do too. Um, <laughs> I do too. <laughs> um, and for me, you can follow me on Instagram at at Cheech Manohar, M-A-N-O-H-A-R, and then on Twitter at at Mac and Cheech. Mac I and love Cheech. the pun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mac and Cheech. Uh, I, I started doing a daily haiku. They're all funny. They're a good time. It's a, funny. It's a good time. It's a can you time. can you share it with us? Oh yeah. Okay. Before we go? Um, He's very. This, this is one of my favorite ones that I've done so far. Taking a shower. Oops, I forgot my towel. Reluctant nudist. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. They're all like silly and punchliney and like dumb. But... We've all been there. <laughs> like it's so relatable. It's perfect. Yeah. So when do you, do you write that in the morning? Like when you're... Yeah, usually I like wake up. It's usually just a way to wake myself up. Uh -huh. And because there's something about like having to focus on like counting the syllables and like being funny that like just uh -huh. gets me in a good mindset to like kind of start the day. Plus it like, it's kind of nice to, it's started to become this thing that like people recognize now. Like people have started to meet me at the stage and be like, I love your haikus. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's um, great. Yeah, it's yeah. just like a nice way to make someone like do a quick smile in the morning, I guess. That's cool. He's, he's good at that. Make <laughs> someone smile. Do you put those on Instagram? Uh, every once in a while, if it's a good one, I'll put it on my on my Insta story. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'm there. definitely following. <laughs> a show tonight. We do. Uh, do. Call in like pretty soon. Yeah. So. We have to. We got a motor. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta go do a show again and dance around awesome. and be in love with this guy. <laughs> well, you guys break a leg. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. Yay! Thank Go you. see Mean Girls on Broadway. Come see us. Come see us. Sit with us. Yeah, sit with them. <laughs>